Today Huawei has partnered up with the University of Cape Town to fund 15 wonderful students. Um, Huawei's uh, bursary program consists in 2020 of about 47 students and fortunately enough UCT has got the bulk of our funding. The Huawei bursary program is a wonderful initiative from Huawei. Um, the university is very thankful for, for the funding that we've received. Um, it also creates a great opportunity for students um, because it puts them at the cutting edge of where Huawei is moving in the world. Besides just paying their fees, uh, sometimes say to Huawei they see more like a humanitarian organization because they really look after the kids. It's not just about throwing money at students. They're actually looking after the students and trying to find out what is it that they want, what is it that they need. We believe in the transformation in terms of youth and where we're sending our youth um, to. With regards to the unemployment rate currently for youth sitting at 40%, we find it extremely important for us to give bursaries to deserving students. What Huawei believes in is actually um, investing in the youth because that's where we unlock potential and of course we give them these wonderful opportunities where we fund them throughout the year, we cover the likes of their accommodation, their tuition costs and you know living expenses and once they're done they are given um, the opportunity to actually work at uh, Huawei for one year. The Huawei bursary is going to help me expand my knowledge because Huawei Technologies is also um, based on stuff that I really like, like um, 5G, AI, machine learning. I chose to study engineering specifically because it's a professional degree and with the job market at the moment, it's always better to have something that's specific. Huawei specifically, they're one of the few companies that are actually doing innovation and design within South Africa, um, specifically with 5G technology. They're at the forefront internationally and they're bringing it to South Africa, which is usually something you wouldn't expect in a third world co developing country. It's a wonderful opportunity for students. Um, it's almost an easier route because you've already been um, given the funding, you've been given the support and you have at the end of the tunnel you've got a job offer waiting, it's uh, with a company that is at the forefront of technology. It's very important that we select students that's got, that's driven, um, that wants to succeed within South Africa, that's um, passionate about the IT space. So when I look at these students, I look at are they driven, do they want to succeed, succeed? do they understand their why? And that's why I select the students. Yes, there is other criteria in terms of having a 70% aggregate, but we also look at the deeper meaning. What is the contribution that they're going to bring to South Africa? Are they going to pass on the skill sets that they, they're currently learning? And this is why we choose the students. This is why I base my selection on just innovative students, students that want to make a change in South Africa, and students that has a drive and passion for uh, the sub subjects that they're currently studying. And my message to these students is to grasp this opportunity not many people are um, fortunate enough to get such an opportunity. So at UCT we really believe that academically eligible and financially deserving students need to be assisted. It's um, one of the cornerstones of financial aid at the university. We believe that without education we can't change a lot of the things in society and that is why we've always tried to find funding and try to assist as many students as possible in getting financial assistance so that that burden is out of the way.